Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner and today I'm going to bring you a video on how much money do you need exactly or close to in order to have to make $100,000 every year from your dividends by the time you retire. All right, so YouTube, now that we're here, how much money do you need exactly? How much money will you make off your investments if you invest every single month into a, a dividends account and how much do you need to make that $100,000 per year? But before we get into that, let's just say you have a dividend account that grows, that yields, um, you know, there are some accounts that yields 12% and there's some accounts that yields a little bit as 2.5%. Um, but let's just take uh, AT&T, for example, that one yields around 7%. So let's just go be beneath that. It's, it's kind of easy to build an account that yields 6%. Actually, it's not that easy. It's kind of tough to build a good account that yields around 6%. But uh, it's, it's very doable. Uh, it started getting dangerous around the 8 to 12% yield uh, and very conservative for and under. So let's just say um, a 6% account that you yield 6% dividends on uh, to make $100,000. So in order to make that $100,000, you will put in $100,000 and divide that by 0.06. All right, so you need 1.6 million, so 1.666666 uh, million dollars in order to uh, yield $100,000 in a single year. You would need 1.6 million dollars in your account. All right, but before we go into calculating exactly how much you need to invest every single month, uh, let's look at how you should calculate. All right, um, if we go over to Seeking Alpha. Uh, uh, the dividend in dividends, there are companies that increase their dividends over time, and this shows the dividend increase percentage over the years versus the inflation, inflation rate of the US dollar. Okay, so if we scroll all the way down, uh, this is how much over the last 51 years the average is that the dividend yields increase over 5.4 percent in the stock market. Uh, this is the average over the last 51 years for. So that is a lot of data, it's just not the last 10, 15 years, it's the last 51 years. So 5.4 and the uh, inflation rate is 4.1. So your dividend yield does outperform the inflation rate of the US dollar. So it's 5.4 to 4.1. So you don't have to worry about if I invest $1,000 today, would that, that $1,000 be worthless 40 years from now? Uh, due to the inflation rate. No, because your dividend yield does outperform the inflation rate of the US dollar. And this is the averages over the last 51 years. So I think you'll be doing all right if you invest into the stock market. You're not throwing your money down the drain as long as you're making money in your investments. All right, so if we're looking at exactly how to calculate this, if we go over to the street um, and let's look at the SP500, all right? Over the last 20 years, the SP500 has returned a 7.2% a year after adding adjusting, adjusting for inflation. If you only measure the price and change that did not include dividends, all right, the SP500 has a return of 5.2 over the same period, all right? If you, do, if you do not include dividends payments in your analysis, you are missing out on 27.8% of the real total return of the SP500. All right, so the stock market has a, an average of increasing of 7% a year, but that's not including the uh, dividends. If you include the dividends, so let's say uh, AT&T uh, goes up 3%, but they have a 7% yield. You would actually have that 7% plus the 3% of the growth of that company added on. So it'll be around 7, 8, 9, 10, 10%. All right, so if we take a look, they have a great example here by PepsiCo. PepsiCo expected long-term growth of 6.3% and the current dividend yield is 2.7%. All right, so over the last 20, 20 or 10 years, over the last 10 years, PepsiCo has grown 6.3% every single year so the last 10 years pepsico has grown 6.3 percent every single year and uh its current dividend is 2.7 percent so your growth of the stock is 6.3 is 
All right, here we go. Your growth of the stock is 6.3, but you also have a dividend yield of 2.7%. So your expected return, total return is 9%, okay? So that's how you calculate it. So you actually add the growth of the stock market average is 7%, but if you have a dividends account, you have to add in your dividend yield to that growth of the market because we're going to reinvest that. We're not going to pull out our dividend. We're going to reinvest our dividends every single month, every single quarter. We're going to reinvest invest our dividends all right so let's go over to a financial calculator and set our goals for retiring and we said that we needed 1.666666 all right and let's say the the average rate of the market is seven percent that's it's been calculated okay but let's just say the market slows down for the next 40 years and I only have an average return annual return rate of six percent but let's say you have a a dividend account that's not averaging that's not yielding six percent but let's just say four percent sorry so you have your yield of your dividend account is four percent and the average of the uh annual return rate on your stocks is six percent so that will put you at a ten percent annual with ten <laughs> that will put you at a ten percent right there annual return rate and let's hit calculate uh no that's not it all right start early investment all right there it goes yes so if you're 25 years old you will need to save 314 dollars um every single month to retire at the age of 65. if you're 30 see i'm under 30 so i could save uh up to 512 dollars every single month with the annual return rate of uh, the stock market of being 6%, and I have a dividend yield account that averages 4%, so 10% annual return rate. At the age of 30, I would need to save $512 every single month until the age of 65. And when I retire at the age of 65, I should have around $1.6 million in my Robinhood account, and I will be collecting $100,000 worth of dividends in a single year. If you're 35, $844 a month. Once you start, uh, it's, it's best to start investing early. The earlier you invest, the earlier that you invest, the better. And the longer that you wait, it's going to be very, very tough to catch up. Because just at the age of 40, you have to save $1,400 a month. At the age of 45, you have to save $2,425 a month. And at the age of 50, $4,000, $371 a month. And if you start saving at the age of 55 and want to retire at the age of 65, you need to save $8,715 a month. So um, if I'm looking at my YouTube algorithm, a lot of you guys fit in between the, well, it's some 28 you guys, 28 year olds. So uh, between the ages of 25 and 40. And if you're 25, save and invest. If you're 40, I know that number is a lot harder to do to save and invest. Uh, one thousand four hundred and twelve dollars a month but if you could just do half that and in order to have a dividend yield where you're averaging fifty thousand dollars a month that is still great you could live off of fifty thousand dollars a month in texas and <laughs> maybe not in new york maybe not in california or in miami but definitely in texas and you could have a grand retirement laid up on the beach knowing that you're gonna have money coming in every single month but yeah guys I just wanted to show you um, how to calculate your uh, your annual yield plus your dividend yield and how much money you need to save around every single month in order to retire off your dividends account and, and, and the good thing about a dividends account guys is that you're gonna be collecting that hundred thousand dollars but you could also reinvest that and if you reinvest that and pass that on to your children and then your children pass that on to your grandchildren. By the time your grandchildren get your dividend portfolio, they'll be, they're gonna be filthy rich. Your grandkids are never gonna have to work a day in their life if they don't want to. And bring again, by the time your grandchildren bring this and your kids don't mess this up, your grandchildren could be bringing in $500,000 a month off your dividends account that you started and that's a great way to, that they can remember you and won't ever forget about you but yeah guys i'm just showing you um a quick and easy way on how to calculate this go ahead down in the comment sections and let me know if you use Robinhood and if you're and how much money 
Are you investing into your Robinhood account uh, right now? And how old are you? If you haven't signed up for Robinhood yet, the link is down in the description. Go ahead and leave that thumbs up button. And um, I'm trying to get out more videos every single week. Uh, it, it's really tough, but I'm really trying to challenge myself to get out three videos a week. Right now, I'm around two videos a week. So I'm going <laughs> to, what's today? I'm going to try to drop one in two days or so. But yeah, other than that, this is your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner. And I'm out.